Hi and welcome to my channel Native Ayurveda. Mention the word kidney stones to anyone who has had any experience with it, you're likely to get shudders and winces. The pain caused due to them are sometimes so intense that it can make grown men and women to cry. These are hard deposits of minerals and salts in your kidneys. The most common ones are the calcium oxalate stones and the uric acid stones. Patients who experience some pain in the lower abdominal region and in the groin need a diagnosis for kidney stones. The pain usually occurs on the sides of your back under the rib cage and then it gets radiated to your groin. It starts as a dull pain and then it gets severe. But every case of kidney stones need not experience this excruciating severe pain because in some cases, the pain can really be very mild. If you are having recurrent kidney stones, it is high time you get screened to know if you are affected with any other type of metabolic disorders. It is seen that many patients with kidney stones have parathyroid disorders. In parathyroid disorder, the body changes the way it metabolizes calcium. This leads to the formation of calcium oxalate stones. Almost 80% of kidney stones are a result of calcium oxalate deposits in the kidneys. Secondly, gout can also be a reason behind your recurrent stones. Gout is a form of arthritic disease caused due to the deposition of uric acids in your small joints. It can, however, lead to uric acid stones getting formed in the kidneys too. Other metabolic disorders like obesity and diabetes should also be ruled out if you are having recurrent stones. Treating these metabolic disorders and going in for regular screening of stones by scanning your kidneys and abdomen yearly once is important. Every case of kidney stone may not be a case of emergency because sometimes the pain that patients experience can be mild. There are cases when people go for a USD or a X-ray during their general health checkup and they are diagnosed with kidney stones. This shows that the stones are simply sitting inside your kidney and they haven't yet started to show their symptoms or they are smaller in size. And there can also be cases where people have already experienced one or two episodes of kidney stones and this shows that they are prone to get it again and again. So Ayurvedic management can help you in these kind of cases to flush your kidney stones out of your kidneys and yes, also to prevent recurrence. For the Ayurvedic home remedy of kidney stones, you may require a drug called Gokshuram. Its botanical name is Tribulus terrestris. I have added some of the regional names of the drug in the video. You may require half a kg of the drug, grind it coarsely and store it in an airtight container. Daily in the morning, you may take two tablespoons of this drug and add one liter of water to it and give it a good boil for five to seven minutes. You may filter this drink and take it whenever you're feeling thirsty. I would suggest that you finish the drink within six hours of preparation time. Then you may go for normal water for drinking. This drink can be taken for two months continuously. It's quite safe and does not have any side effects. You may get the drug Gokshuram from any of the good Ayurvedic stores that sell raw materials or raw drugs. So how is this drink going to help you? It helps to crush the stones, relaxes the ureters and acts as a diuretic. So the stones get easily flushed out of your system. It acts as a very good analgesic, that is, a pain reliever. It detoxifies your kidneys and also rejuvenates them. Symptoms like frequency in urination and burning micturition get subsided. It also prevents recurrence. So, if you are suffering from kidney stones, then give this drink a try. It's going to be effective. 
if you are suffering from pain or symptoms like burning micturation or pain or frequency in urination, then you can go for Sitz bath. I have given all the details about Sitz bath in my video on hemorrhoids or piles. I have added a link of this video in the description box below. Dehydration remains a major cause of kidney stones. Chronic dehydration can lead to supersaturated urine output and this can put you under a higher risk of developing kidney stones. Everyone should drink around 2 liters of liquids, but if you have had a history of stones before or you have a family history of stones, then you require an increased fluid intake of 3 liters daily. Fluids include fresh fruit juice like orange juice, lemon juice, buttermilk is really kidney friendly, then you can go for tender coconut water and also sugar cane juice. 80% of the kidney stones are the ones that are formed by calcium oxalate deposits in the kidneys. So try to avoid foods that are oxalate rich in nature like beetroot, spinach, nuts, beans, dark chocolate and tea in excess because they are really kidney stone forming agents. Try not to take pills for calcium supplementation and vitamin C and vitamin D supplements in excess. You should never take these supplements without the doctor's advice because these supplements are directly linked with kidney stones. But it doesn't mean that you need to go for a low calcium diet in the long run because this again increases your risk of kidney stones. So go for natural calcium in your diet. This may include milk and milk products, yogurt and buttermilk. Buttermilk not only helps you to flesh out the kidney stones, but it also detoxifies and rejuvenates the kidneys. So buttermilk is really kidney friendly and you can take it in daily basis and it's really going to help you. Apart from this, you should also try and avoid taking excessive salt because sodium again increases the risk of kidney stones. Avoid not to take excessive spices and oil in your diet. If you're prone to recurrent uric acid stones, then it's high time that you say no to animal meat because it's seen that animal protein can increase the deposition of uric acid in your kidneys. It's quoted in our Ayurvedic text that the body and the mind are interrelated. That is, if the body is affected with something, then that is going to affect your mind. And if your mind is getting affected, that's going to take a toll on your body. In the case of kidney stones, it is found that stress and pent-up emotions in the mind play a very major role. So try to lead a stress-free life. If you think it's difficult, I would suggest you try some yoga and meditation daily because they are really cool stress busters. Apart from this, I would suggest that you never suppress your urge to maturate because when you suppress your urge to urinate, the vata element in your body gets elevated. This again makes you vulnerable to kidney stones. I have tried to add some of the easy home remedies and the basic concept of kidney stones. But if you want your treatment plan, your diet and your lifestyle to be individualized, I suggest that you go to an Ayurvedic doctor for the same. If you had found my video informative, please hit like, share and subscribe to my channel Native Ayurveda. Thank you.